Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Financial Digest. Software startup Neon Labs will open its gateway for Ethereum-based crypto projects to access the competing Solana ecosystem before the year is out. Neon Labs will launch its Ethereum virtual machine for Solana on December the 12th, CEO Marina Guriyeva said. An oil tanker hauling a cargo of Russian crude has been sitting off the coast of the United Arab Emirates for three days, raising the prospect that the Gulf state might become a customer for Moscow. China's exports and imports unexpectedly contracted in October, the first simultaneous slump since May 2020, as surging inflation and rising interest rates hammered global demand, while new COVID-19 curbs at home disrupted output and consumption. The dollar-yen pair made a minor downwards correction in the last session, dropping zero pen pair made a minor down. ECI is giving a negative signal. The pound-dollar pair skyrocketed 1.6% in the last session. The MACD is giving. The MACD is giving. The Bitcoin dollar pair dove 1.1% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The gold got a slight bump of 0.1% against the dollar in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. Japan's coincident index will be released at 0500 hours GMT. The UK's BRC like for like retail sales at 0 hours and 1 minute GMT. The Dutch Consumer Price Index at 0530 GMT. The US NFIB Business Optimism Index will be released at 1100 hours GMT. The Eurozone's Ecofin meeting at 0700 hours GMT. Japan's current account at 2350 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Tuesday's financial report. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.